Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Konich Yeeha podcast here on the Last Choice Network. I'm Natalie. And I'm Jared. And it's almost Christmas. <laughs> it's almost Christmas. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry early Christmas. Happy holidays. Mm-hmm. Um, so, tis the season. We thought we would do an episode um, kind of reviewing, reflecting yeah. over some of the more memorable Christmas episodes in anime right. that we've come across. Right. Right. A staple in a staple in especially um, like day slice of life, slice of life anime yeah. is to have a Christmas episode. Yeah. So we went we picked um, five different shows mm-hmm. and all shows that I've seen on like top ten Christmas episode lists things mm-hmm. like that and we reviewed them and decided okay these are things that you typically see in a Christmas episode. So before that, though, I want to tell you a little bit about how Christmas is in Japan. Unlike the States, uh, which is primarily Christian, only 0.8% of people in Japan are Christian. Because of this, Christmas never really, like, had a chance to evolve as a big thing. Um, Mm -hmm. Unlike here in the United States, where Christmas is, like, the biggest holiday of the year. Right. Um, so because of that, Christmas is actually not a national holiday. So that means that no one gets off of work for Christmas, mm-hmm. which is some things that you do see in, um, in the Christmas episodes, especially if they have adults in if them. There's adults in them, yeah. Right. With, um, for example, Wotakoi, um, in that episode or in that show, it's all about adults and they work office jobs and they specifically like have to work late, have to work late hours mm-hmm. so that they can be, like, done with work on time so that they can go on their Christmas dates. Right. Things like that. Yeah. Um, another thing is that... So, <laughs> this is something that, like, is so out of left field, is that KFC is huge on Christmas. Yes, as in Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, yes Kentucky the, Fried Chicken. Yes, the fast food restaurant. Yeah, so <laughs> I so that's seen in anime a couple times, mm-hmm. um, and so I was so I was curious. I was like, "What what is this all about?" Mm-hmm. So basically, what happened is that in 1974, there was a um, there's a KFC com- campaign, KFC for Christmas, and what it was was that. You got a bucket of chicken for enough to feed the family Mm -hmm. and a bottle of wine. And as to show, like, this is for Christmas dinner. Um, uh, Supposedly, where it all comes from is that there is, like, a foreign customer, like a foreigner, that um, wanted turkey for Christmas dinner. But they were in Japan, so they can't get turkey. Mm -hmm. So they just got KFC instead. Okay. So... Supposedly, that's where this whole campaign came from. Okay, yeah. Excuse me. Um, Also, um, well, first, um, I saw that Christmas is also considered the most romantic day of the year, Mm -hmm. which also kind of makes sense considering, so in the United States, we only have Valentine's Day, um, so that's like one big day. For, for like, like romance. romance, yeah. But in Japan, they have Valentine's Day and White Day, so right. that would make sense. Like it's split up. Okay, yeah. So it kind of makes a little more sense that right, like Christmas is the big romantic holiday. Mm-hmm. So, and correct me if I'm wrong. So basically, what we mean when we say Valentine's Day and White Day, yes, is that on Valentine's Day, the girls, like if we're talking like high school, right? Yeah, the girls give gifts, give gifts. And then on White Day, the boys give gifts. Yes. So that's so. like, that's the idea. Is that the, yeah. the gift giving is actually split between two days. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, um, um, um. Oh, yeah. And lastly, um, New Year's is kind of more of a big deal than Christmas is. Mm-hmm. It's still like, Basically, the only reason, like, kids get off of school for Christmas is because it's, like, winter break. Yes. Like, yeah. close to New Year's. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I also saw that, like, 
a good way to like kind of tell like how traditions are or like how to spend each in japan mm -hmm. is that christmas is for like your friends to give gifts to each other and hang out and new year's is for um to spend time with family and give them gifts then mm -hmm. Also, if you know and I'm totally wrong, please let us know. <laughs> I really want to know. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so this was something that I also realized. Well, it's something that I've seen in a lot of anime mm -hmm. on Christmas and just never really connected it. Uh -huh. And it wasn't until I like started doing research that I realized that it was like a thing. Is Christmas cake. So, there's, like, a strawberry cake that you see in, like, every single anime Christmas episode. Right. That I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, it's just like a strawberry it's just short a cake. cake. Yeah. No, it's literally Christmas cake. Yeah, it's called a Christmas cake. Yeah. Um, so, something else that I, like didn't really think about is that and i didn't really notice it until we started watching these episodes mm -hmm. that like sometimes there's a lot of snow sometimes there's no snow at all yes and i don't know if like japan's not very big right so i wouldn't really think of it them having like such different weather yeah i'm sure it's all just has to do with um i mean it's Japan is mountainous, so maybe if you're closer to the mountains, oh, there's snow. Yeah, that makes more if sense. If you're closer to, like, the beach or shore, maybe there's not snow. Like, it's a pretty varying right. country. That makes sense. As far as that um, goes. But, yeah, it definitely is either... In anime, it's either there is a lot of snow or there is no snow. Yeah. Like, it's cold, but, like, right. there's no snow. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think in Texas... Um, I don't think I've ever had snow on christmas i think i've had snow on christmas once yeah yeah it was a long time ago but. Mm -hmm. but yeah so those are some like just in general christmas in japan things christmas in japan facts yes christmas in japan facts mm -hmm. and so some of the shows that we watched first i'd like to start with wodakoi uh wodakoi is about um adults that are nerds in the corporate world Right. They're like just working office jobs. Mm -hmm. Like you know like you know, cubicles. Yeah. Just, data entry. Yeah. Office jobs. But they're like they're young adults. Mm. So they still have kind of like their like young adult quirks, I guess. Like in the sense that they are they are nerds. Mm -hmm. They like um video games. Video games and comics and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and there are two couples, right? Yes. And like two like established couples they're dating. Um, so in Wurakoi, we see how um, adults are still working on yeah. Christmas. They're all they're all still working on Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, they're trying to work fast so they can get off, so they can get to their dates. But they're all, they are all still working. Right. Right. Um, and then there is, like, there's one gift exchange. No, no. There's no. There, oh, yeah. There is, like, oh, my gosh. Was there? Yeah, there's a yes, gift exchange yes, at the end. Yes, there was. Yeah, at the very because end. Because it's uh, it, the guy, one of the, one of the couples, the guy um, has a reservation for a really fancy restaurant mm -hmm. that he made months in advance because he kind of messed up last Christmas. Right. Um, so they go on this really nice date and, uh, they have a little gift exchange and it's cute. It's like a figure, mm, <laughs> like yeah. real nerd stuff. Christmas episode checklist. Right. Romance. Yes. Romance. Gift. Was there snow? I think there was snow. Snow. You're right. <laughs> but. And working. Was, and working on and Christmas working, day. <laughs> working on Christmas day. Yes. <laughs> um, things that there wasn't a party. Yes. It there wasn't. There was no a Christmas party. It was individuals individual just like what they do for christmas mm -hmm. yeah and i don't know if there's any christmas cake <laughs> i don't remember yeah. either um and so a lot of the times um in anime like i said new year's and christmas are like pretty close mm -hmm. and new year's is kind of a bigger deal so a lot of the times in anime the christmas episode may also be the new year's episode right which in the new year's they um 
they go to a shrine typically yeah to pray give offering mm-hmm. um, make their they make new year's wishes yes they make new year's yes, wishes they also important. get their new year's fortune yes and they get their fortunes um Let's see. What did we watch next? We watched... Um, we watch Himoto? Himoto next. Yeah. Watch Himoto next. Mm-hmm. That show is about... Um, there's this perfect girl in high school. Mm-hmm. But when she comes home, she's actually a little gremlin. She's um, she's a slacker. She's messy. Yeah. She is a gamer. She drinks soda and eats chips on the yeah. floor. Like a, like a gremlin. Yes. Yeah. She is a gremlin. Um, by the way, I haven't seen actually like half of these the actual <laughs> animes i wa- we watched i watched this um blind blind just the christmas episode yeah i've seen i've seen all of them except for one but she's seen that one yeah so uh so with Hamoto, i've like seen Hamoto, but i didn't really know about it mm-hmm. so what we see is that there is snow yes first there of is all snow. there is snow and Hamoto just wants to have like the perfect indoor christmas like she's like no absolutely not i am not going outside i'm not going to any parties there are parties there is one but she's not going to it which reminded me of one thing (laughs) um because you said indoor Uh another thing that's commonly seen in anime um that also is kind of a big thing in japan is setting up christmas lights Mm -hmm. so christmas lights are really big right and the fact that she doesn't want to go out and see them that's a thing that's like you know, cross out, not check mark. <laughs> yes. Yes. So she just wants to have like the perfect indoor Christmas with all her little gremlin snacks and mm-hmm. whatever. But, um, and she lives with her brother. Yeah. So her brother is an adult and he works on Christmas day and he's the one who's trying to like hurry up and finish, um, like working so he yeah. can get home to celebrate Christmas. With another his sister. corporate data entry job. Yes. Another just like, at a computer mm-hmm. putting uh, inputting numbers um and so they have their nice little christmas yeah he he day. brings his work friend over mm-hmm. and i think her sister his little sister is there as well or she was at the beginning but she wasn't there at the end yeah she was at the end yeah. but they just have their nice little christmas inside is there a new year's um, in that one i don't remember <laughs> yeah um, it does go to because New Year's, it right? goes to New Year's. She doesn't go to. I don't think they go to pray though. That's right because it, there's like a montage of her just s- like in different positions, sitting in front of the TV. Yeah, either watching it or playing games or. Because her New Year's resolution was to be like better about being clean in the New Year's. That's right. That's and right. And then her brother was like, you "Remember what you promised me." Yep. <laughs> and then she didn't do it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, I think it was it was cool that a like central part of that episode was um, setting up the kantatsu. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. So uh, what if you don't know uh, kantatsu or no no kotatsu? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kantatsu different thing. Kotatsu <laughs> is it's a heated blanket I believe that goes on top of your like living room table. But they're like short tables. Yeah, they're, like, they're short you, tables. You, you sit on the ground. Yeah. Um, so like you sit under it and it's nice and warm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that was one of the reasons why she had to clean yeah. also. So they could set up the kodatsu. Mm-hmm. Anyway, very cute. Yes, very cute. Very nice. Um, then was my, K-On? No, it was My Little no. Monster. My Little Monster was yes. next. Yes. My Little Monster is next. My Little Monster is about a girl that is apathetic towards life doesn't really understand the emotions it's really smart though yes very smart yeah uh she studies a lot Mm -hmm. um and a boy who oh yeah first off um himoto no romance oh yes Yes. okay no romance in himoto there was snow Mm -hmm. um there was not k there was not kfc there's not kfc but there's cake there was cake there was christmas cake Mm -hmm. um Back to my little monster. Yes. So the boy main character, he's like a little shit. Like he's like a troublemaker. Yes. He got in he got in trouble at his old school for getting into a fight and he's just very aggressive. He's really aggressive. Um, doesn't yeah. really get people. He's a punk. Yeah. And then they meet and he like falls in love with her or something like that. I don't entirely remember. 
Um, yeah, but he's, like, all over her. Yeah. Like, they're, like, he's, like, bonded to her. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Um, I will go ahead and say, this one's probably my least favorite Christmas episode. Yeah. Just personally. It wasn't very Christmassy. It's not very Christmassy. So, okay, I should also go ahead and say that there are more Christmas episodes out there. But I, Christmas episodes, I should yeah. say, can be considered episodes because they happen during Christmas. But I wanted to pick episodes where Christmas was actually important to the episode. Yes. So that is like one thing. There are like more Christmas episodes mm -hmm. in the sense that they happen during Christmas. But sometimes it's just like a character puts up a tree and yeah. then Christmas doesn't even matter anymore. Death Note. <laughs> Death Note. A, Christmas, um, a person puts up a tree and then Christmas doesn't matter. Also so, in this list... We did not include Christmas movies, and we did not include Christmas OVAs. Right. Which, Christmas OVAs aren't really a big thing anymore. Mm -hmm. um, they used to be. Makes sense. But not really anymore. Yeah. So anyway, back to My yeah. Little Monster. Not really my favorite one because not too much Christmassy things are, not too many Christmassy things are actually happening. Yeah. Um, also, I kind of just think I maybe wouldn't like this anime. Oh, yeah? <laughs> from, from watching this one episode. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> Regardless, yeah. um, they do eat KFC. They do eat KFC. They do eat Christmas cake. And they do eat Christmas cake. I don't and they think have, there was any snow, though. I don't think so, either. Yeah. They have, like, a little party. Yeah. Um, where it's, like, them and then their high school friends. They have, like, a super dysfunctional party. They they're have, playing, like, like super, word games. It's super dysfunctional. And they're at a batting alley or a, re or a what? range. Batting, yeah, a batting range, yeah. yeah. Um, and there is a confession. There is a confession. That was, that is what makes this on the, um, on like the, I, I already know. This is what makes it on the top Christmas list is there because is there is an I love you. There is an I love, I you. love you. Yes. Um, which big check mark right there. Mm -hmm. Big check mark. I love you. Yes. Um, romantic day of the year. Confessions are a big. There are a lot of confessions on Christmas episodes. Because it's romantic. Right, because it's romantic. Yes. Um, so that's that's a pretty common thing. Mm -hmm. You didn't really see it much in these episodes. Uh, we had a... We had romance, but this is the only one that had like a super explicit confession. Super explicit. Yeah. That's that's the key. Yeah. Super explicit. Um, next we watched K-On. Or watch was there anything else you wanted to say? I don't think so. Okay. Next we watched K-On. Yes. I love K-On. Um, Explain K-On. Yeah, so K-On is about these girls in high school who are in a music, like a band, mm -hmm. um, like a rock band, a uh, club, and um, I mean, that's basically it. They're just girls who are in a club and they play yeah. music. So they want to have like a Christmas party, like, you know, with them. Mm -hmm. Um I will say that it, it opens with a memory, right? Yeah. So it opens with a memory of a past Christmas between one of the the main characters and her sister. And then fast forward to now, um, they're the main character sister is in high school. I guess they're both in high school actually. Yeah. Um so No, they, I thought they only are. oh okay. They're both in high school but she's younger. Mm. One's the younger sister, one's the older sister. Um so they wanna have a Christmas party just like them and they want to do a gift exchange. Like a, a game kind mm -hmm. of gift exchange. Which we didn't really see too many gifts other than with what what code water court? Yeah, other than water court, we haven't really seen too many gift exchanges. Yeah, yet. my little monster didn't have a gift exchange. Yeah. Himoto didn't have a gift yes. exchange. Yes, and in K on this, the gift exchange is actually a pretty central part. Yeah, because then they all have to go out and buy their gifts, mm -hmm. and they all kind of like run into each other at the mall and whatever, and that's a thing. Um, but they have the Christmas party. They do the gift exchange. They have other like. Just like fun games. Yeah, they they do a thing where like each person has to do like a performance. A, a performance. They call it a performance. <laughs> one of them does like hand puppets. Yeah. And another one does like fish impersonation. Like it's <laughs> it, they're all like really random things. Yeah. Um. So they that's the Christmas. They have the gift exchange. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. Um. And this one has a combined New Year's episode in yes. it. Yes. So basically. Right after the gift exchange and Christmas, right? It kind of like does a cut and then suddenly it's New Year's. Yeah. So they also all meet up at the shrine, at a shrine. Um, 
they kind of like make jokes about how um two of them have like gained holiday weight Mm -hmm. and um the other like two haven't so there's like a discussion about that and then they um they do the the shrine prayer together and they all wish to be better at playing music and that is chaos yes uh, oh, and there's not snow. It's actually there kind is of a, not snow. That's a central part. That's actually a pretty central part because one of the characters is like, I've always wanted a white Christmas, a Christmas where there's snow. Um, and on the present day Christmas, um, they get like little flurries, but yeah. nothing sticks. So they're like, oh, wow, we kind of got snow. Yeah. <laughs> um, no ram, no, no romance, romance. Yeah. not that kind of show. Nope. It's just friendship in this show. Yep. Which is fine. Mm-hmm. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, was there Christmas cake? I, I think there remember. was. I think there was. I think there was Christmas cake. No KFC, yeah. though. No KFC. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, the granddaddy of A Christmas, Christmas episodes. episodes. Probably the best Christmas episode of all anime, because there's three of them. There's three of them. Toradora that- has three Christmas episodes. <laughs> <laughs> crazy yes so much christmas is in this anime considering considering i mean yeah. well, everything that we just talked about how there are so many animes that don't even like do christmas yeah toradora has three of them yeah <laughs> um and it's just so toradora another high school romance mm-hmm. um there's a bunch of like love triangle things going yeah. on so i guess what i'll stay with me i'll try to break it down real quick okay so we have taiga Right? Then we have Ryuji. Okay? Those are the two main characters. So Taiga likes Ryuji's best friend. And Ryuji likes Taiga's best friend. Right? Mm -hmm. So they come together and make a plan to try and hook each other up with their best friends. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens in the anime is they start spending a lot of time together yeah right so then there's that tension and um th- that's like that's like the tension of the show basically yeah. is this like weird back and forth but then now they're also spending a lot of time together like a lot of time together like they're neighbors okay yeah. and like they, she doesn't she, know how to t- she so, also doesn't know how to take care yeah, of herself she so. lives alone and he takes care of her right like feeds her because yeah. she doesn't know how to cook like things like that This is no longer a love triangle. It's a love Venn diagram. It's a Venn diagram, yeah. Um, So, there are these three Christmas episodes. And I honestly... What happens in the first one? The first one is so not even like... Super Christmassy. Yeah, not even Christmassy. It's kind of like they're like, oh, Christmas is coming up. It's the setup. It's the setup for the rest of the Christmas. The first episode is mostly about Tyga Mm -hmm. being like, I gotta be... So, Tyga's like a little shit. Tyga's a little like, shit. She that's gets into kind of, fights. That's kind of a common thing, honestly, yeah. <laughs> of like these slice of life um, that have kind of good Christmas episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's like a punk. Yes. Yeah. She gets into fights. She's like the top dog she's, at the school. She's, she's also easily tiny. irritated. And she's tiny. Yeah. Yes, she's small. Um, but so she's like bad all year. So... Mm-hmm. The first episode is setting up, oh, I need to be good this year because so Santa, Santa is watching. And of course, everybody makes fun of that. Like, yeah. everybody's like, are you serious? She is. Yeah. Um, well, to a, to a degree. She's she serious. explains that whenever she was a kid, she saw Santa. Right. And she likes the idea of somebody watching over her. Since yeah. she does live alone. So that's like kind of a trauma thing. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> episode two. Episode two is um more about a little bit more about like taiga and trying to be good because what i I remember the most about episode two was taiga um buying all the presents and wanting to send everybody presents but kind of wanted to be like doing it on the down low and also she sends presents to orphans yes she's like wow what a what a good girl Mm -hmm. um they're also so Episode two also sets up that Taiga's best friend that Ryuji wants to date. Yes. That's his name, right? Yes. Um, it, she she messed up 
her softball game. Yeah. And so she does, she says she does not deserve to come to the school Christmas party. Right. So this sets up this big, this big depression that has already been in motion, like set in motion from previous episodes. If I remember correctly. Mm Mm-hmm. So. This, this is all coming together to set up the masterpiece that is episode three. Yes. So episode three is when the Chris. Well, first of all, they put up the tree. Yes, they put up this huge tree. This huge tree, like one that you would find in a mall. Yeah. Because it also isn't like, it isn't um, realistic. It's just lights. Yeah. It's just a, a cone of lights. And then um, they put Tyga's beloved prized star on top. And it's like a, yeah. like a crystal glass star. Yeah. Um, and then her best friend, who was on the softball team, Mm -hmm. who, like, did so bad at the softball game that she was at this and thinks she deserves to come, accidentally (laughs) throws... Hits the ball. Hits the ball. She accidentally hits the ball, and it comes crashing into the gym window, and it knocks over the tree, and it shatters the... (laughs) Yeah. It's, like, it's pretty dramatic. Yeah, it is. And then, so then... She comes in, and of course, she's absolutely devastated. Mm-hmm. And she's like crying, and she's shaking, and everything. And she's like trying to glue this crystal glass star together. Sure. Which I want to say, they do such, a really good job. It's such bullshit. It's, it, that's not possible. Yeah, they what do. They, a, do, they do a really good job do, immediately putting it back together. Yes. Like, this is like glass that shattered. Like, yeah. it should have been impossible that they should have yeah. not even found all the pieces. This is like on the a 20 foot christmas tree and it falls straight down no one catches it nothing like that onto a gym Gym floor floor. okay regardless yeah so she's like beating herself up even more now the friend is right Mm -hmm. trying to put this star back together they do it whatever yeah she still doesn't think that she deserves to go to the christmas party because now it's just bad fast forward fast forward to like the next couple of days yeah it's the christmas party taiga lynn's yuji a suit um whatever uh, so they get to the party. Ryuji is like calling this friend, like, "Come on, you gotta come, you gotta come." And it's because he has a gift for her. Yes. It is revealed that he wants to give her a gift. Doesn't say what it is. Does we not do say not. What it is. We do not get that in this episode. We do not know what it is because she still doesn't come. She does not come. She does not come. So the Christmas party happens. Ryuji is like stuck by the punch bowl all party, and then Taiga and another character have like a little musical performance, and it's yeah. really cute. Um, then Tyga leaves to go get the friend. To go get the friend, and is like, "Get your butt over there! He's waiting for you." Um, and then she goes home. Yes, and Tyga Ry- goes home, and then Tyga Ryuji's goes home. like, "Oh my gosh, things are clicking. Why is Tyga by herself again?" Right, and also it like flashes to her to her house. Like, he has, like, a little flash of her house. Mm-hmm. And the thing is that she's been going on and on for these last three episodes about how much she loves Christmas, and she has not decorated her own home. Yeah. That's, like, what the flash was. He was like, oh, my God. She's about to go home to a sad house. Mm-hmm. She's going to go home to a sad house and be sad. Right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, I can't let that happen, even though Tyga has definitely just pulled the strings to have the friend actually show up to the party. I cannot leave Tyga alone. Mm-hmm. So what does he do? First of all, Taiga is, it does cut to Taiga being at home and being sad. Yes. That does happen. Then, like an absolute crazy mad lad, he gets this mascot costume. Yes. It's a bear. Santa bear. It's a bear wearing a Santa costume. That's the mascot. And he climbs, I said they're neighbors, right? Yes. They have They have like balconies facing each other. So he climbs from his balcony to her balcony in this Santa bear costume. And it's like banging on her window. And... Shows up and Tyga's like really excited. She's like, oh my god, are you Santa? And he doesn't say anything. He's just like, "Mm mm-hmm, yep, that's me. And Tyga wants to like, is like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited that you're here. Look at my Christmas tree. And it's like really tiny. It looks like a candle. Like It is a candle. Yeah. Like it's it's like a glass that you put over a candle. Yes. So that he she's like, Look, isn't it like the most like she's really excited. She's like, Isn't it the most perfect Christmas tree? And of course she's like, thumbs up. Yes, it is. Um, and they have their little moment, and it's really sweet. It is so sweet. It is sweet. so sweet. And then finally, um, once, like, she's, like, kind of calmed down, she's like, thank you for doing this, Ryuji. Like, she mm-hmm. knows it's him. And she, like, takes off the bear head, and yeah, it's him, and he's, like, sweaty. Because it's a costume. Yeah. Um, and then she's like, thank you so much. That means a lot. 
um, but what the hell are you doing? You need to go get your girl because I told her to be there and she's going to be there. And he, she's like pushed, like literally pushing him out the door. And um, he's like, wait, like, are you sure? Like, this kind of doesn't feel right. Because the thing is that this is also these this series of mm-hmm. episodes mm-hmm. is also when Ryuji figure kind of starts connecting and is like, damn, maybe I like I like Taiga. Taiga, right? So, but he doesn't get to there. He doesn't. No. He has not connected those dots yet. He starts to kind of connect them, but he hasn't yeah. connected. Them it hasn't yet. fully, but he's like, it's there. It's there. He's like, why do I care so much about it? Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway, so like Taiga's like pushing him out this door, right? Says you gotta go get her, gotta go get her, man. So. He does. He leaves. And Tyga's sitting there. And she's like, wait a second. And she starts crying. And she's like, hold the fuck up. I like Ryuji. Yep. <laughs> like, she literally goes, wait a second. I like Ryuji. I actually don't want this to happen. And it's the first time in the series that she's thought, like, like so she's had these feelings. Mm-hmm. Where she's like, I actually don't want this anymore. And she like... Literally has a breakdown, like, runs out the room, like, out of her apartment. And is, like, trying to, like, get him to come back. And, but he's already gone. And she's, like, bawling her eyes out, right? Outside. Mm -hmm. And who sees that? Who sees that? Her best friend. Yep. Her best friend sees it. The drama. The drama. The absolute drama. (laughs) And, of course, the thing is that this best friend, this girl, her, Tyga's best friend, already knows. Yeah. She knows. And it does kind of hurt. Like, She's basically like, she she understands what's happening. She understands that um, Taiga is trying to hook them up, but also can see that Taiga does have feelings for him. Mm-hmm. So she's like in a really confusing spot, you know? So Ryuji is waiting for the friend at her house. And the friend shows up. And the friend rejects him. Yep. Yeah, like point blank rejects him. And that is how the episode ends. It's such a good episode. It's such a good episode. The it, drama. It has let's see, checklist. It's got snow. <laughs> it's got romance. It's got romance. It's got this is something that I meant to bring. It, well, it's got a party. Yes, it's got a party. Um, this is something that I meant to bring up because it was in my notes, but never did. Mm-hmm. A big part of Christmas episodes is also like the feeling of togetherness or the feeling mm-hmm. of loneliness. Right. This had. You know, like Himoto had that whenever uh, she was at home alone waiting for her brother to come home. And then they were all together. And then they were all together. Right. This has that with, with Taiga. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like such a perfect Christmas episode. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I'll ever get another one. I know. Oh my gosh. I tweeted something out. Uh, I Like whenever <laughs> we finished watching these three episodes, um, I like tweeted something about, out about like how they just don't make anime like they Mm -hmm. used to (laughs) no Mm -hmm. but those were our most memorable christmas episodes Mm -hmm. um hopefully you at least learned a little bit Mm -hmm. maybe about um how christmas is portrayed in anime and maybe a little bit on how it's celebrated actually in japan um but yeah and surprise it's also a birthday episode uh, what yeah no no jared Jared. What? Right now? Yeah. Because it's someone's birthday also. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, fine. I'll do this. It's an Amazon Prime box. (laughs) That's what I got. Okay. Don't want it to be too loud on the microphone. Right. (laughs) No, it's ASMR. Is this ASMR? Do I need to like... Just rip it. It's a possum. <laughs> a real possum. No, I'm just kidding. It's a it's a stuffed animal possum. Oh my goodness. Thank Happy you. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and Merry Christmas, yes, everyone. Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Thank- and we'll see you next time. Yes. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs>